I can't believe it did all of this in less than 10 minutes. I've never seen anything be this easy. This is Pressmaster. It's not just another AI writing tool, it's a brand building engine. It writes your content, matches your voice, and makes sure your ads land like you've already won them over. I've legitimately never seen any AI be this good, this complete, and this genuinely, well, me. And it's super easy. You give it a few examples of how you talk. You can even just talk to the machine and you tell it where you want to show up, Twitter, LinkedIn, blog, whatever. And by the time you finish your coffee, it's done. It's written belief-led content across every platform in your voice that actually earns trust before you sell. So all of your ads work way better. It sounds like you, it looks like you, and it works because it is you. It's an elevated version. Let me show you exactly how and why this changes everything. Step number one, you go to the dashboard and mine already knows what I'm interested in. So it's gonna suggest topics that I can riff on and I can go directly here and create a new article. I could also go to the trend mask, which is catching up on all the trends for all the topics that I might be interested in. And this updates like in real time. If you have the app on your phone, you can literally just get trend alerts and be like, oh, I can talk on that, done. Also, there's this option here for the accelerator, which is great. You can subscribe to top resources, find content that performs, pin it, summarize, and literally just create content right away. And let me show you exactly what that looks like. So if we were to go just create new article, what's the topic? Let's say Black Friday strategies for e-commerce. Awesome. Now, it's gonna go in and say, what are the types of things that people are interested in? It's gonna go through content type. It knows that I probably wanna focus on thought leadership. It's gonna outline best practices. We're gonna go through an article that's short. We're gonna have a theme and tone that's investigative. I've also not defined any brand voice here. I wanna show you how good this is right out of the box. If you spend time actually personalizing this, it'll do incredible things for you. We also have the first person singular narrative because it's coming from me. And then we also have the option for web and citation search, which you can activate or not activate depending on how you wanna do it. I think I'm actually gonna deactivate this because I don't wanna really embed any links. Now with this being said, how quickly do we wanna do an interview? Because it's gonna ask me all of the questions. It's gonna pretend to be the journalist and then do all of the press work for me. It's called Press Master, right? So we can do it quick, we can do it adaptive, or we can do it conversational. My suggestion to you right out of the the box, do the adaptive. It's incredible. So approve and continue. This all looks good. Now it's going to identify some topics, build the central argument, and then ask me questions and in real time. So it's identified the topic is Black Friday mastery. And the angle is going to be what separates truly successful Black Friday strategies from other ones. Love it. It has a few strategic pillars. It's really got some angles here. Like this is, it's done all the work. It's analyzed the market. It knows what people are looking for and it's asking us what our opinion is so we can insert ourselves in trending conversation. So let's hit approve and continue and I'll show you just how fast this works. And then we're gonna do start the interview, which is the secret weapon as to why this is so much better than chat or Claude or Gemini or whatever else you might have going on. So I'm simply just gonna turn on my start listening on my computer and then we're gonna get going. So the first question, when you analyze Black Friday campaigns that failed to meet your expectations, what's the single most telling factor that predicted their struggle months before the event even happened? The number one indicator of Black Friday stress is a softness in Amazon Prime Day and an overall lack of take rate when we're trying to test higher AOV offers. I'm an expert giving my opinion on a topic that people care about. That's fascinating, using Prime Day as a diagnostic tool. When you see that softness, what specific signals are you looking for to tell you we're gonna have problems in November? The primary thing that I'm looking for is volume of transactions and the overall average order value. If the volume of transactions is low or the only thing people are buying are heavily discounted, I know we're gonna have a hard time. So you're seeing transaction volume and AOV patterns as early warning systems. When you spot these red flags in July, what's your playbook for course correcting before Black Friday? Do you double down on discounting or take a completely different approach? Love this. The primary focus that we're gonna try to take is doubling down on brand development so we can build some diehard fans who are willing to spend more money with us. Instead of trying to convince strangers to spend whatever they can, we need to get those folks who are lifers to spend more. That easy money is far more profitable. And that's it, we're done. It's gonna now 
create the article, and do all of the work for us. Like, what, it, it, has it, can it get any easier than that? No. And just look how fast it's doing this work. And when it comes out, we're not gonna have the M dashes. We're not delving into something. It doesn't just clearly show that it's just a GPT wrapper, because it isn't. We literally had a journalist ask us for our expert insight into trending conversations to produce content for us. And then with their social suite, we can distribute this wherever we want. It really is just that easy. And here we go, it's done. Let's take a look. Black Friday disasters have July fingerprints. Yeah, I've been tracking a pattern, so it's me introducing the knowledge. The July diagnostic, love that. What the numbers actually mean. The course correction. Look at this, like this is valuable information. It's synthesizing my opinion into the trending topics of conversation so that we can be a source of trust in brand building. This is phenomenal. I can't believe it did all of this in less than 10 minutes. I've never seen anything be this easy. And now all we have to do is just hit publish and we're done. Now what I want you to know is that this could work for any niche. I'm just showing you an example for me, but this could be for skincare. This could be for lead gen. This could be for solar. This could be for golfing. This could be for whatever it is that you're trying to do from supplements to dog food to, I don't know, you could probably sell people on some really high end stuff with this also. And what I love is that this is producing content that makes people say, damn, I trust this person. I wanna hear more. That's what makes your audience warm. So when you finally do pitch something, they're ready, they're primed, they convert. Now, here's why this really matters. Most people think they have an ad problem. Nope, what you have is a trust problem because your audience doesn't know you before you sell. And in 2025, if your content isn't building belief, you're just another offer in the feed. You can have the best funnel, the best product, the best sales page. But if you're invisible until the moment you sell, you're a ghost. And ghosts don't convert. Even worse, you're wasting money warming people up with conversion ads when you could have been warming them up with your content for free. And that's what Pressmaster fixes. Most AI tools just write stuff fast. And fast doesn't equal trust. Fast doesn't equal resonance. Fast doesn't equal sales. Pressmaster is legitimately different. Yes, it's really fast. But when you look at it, it's because we're not just saying, write me a tweet. It's write me a tweet in my voice for my audience that builds my brand. That's strategic content. That's thought leadership without all the headache. That's brand omnipresence without burnout. Now let's zoom out. If you publish just three posts a week across three platforms with your voice dialed in, in eight weeks, you've got a warm audience, a lead engine, a trust engine that makes your offers convert at a completely different level. And that's not hypothetical. That's happening for people right now using this technology and people with huge teams. And they're spending less on ads because they don't have to fight for attention anymore. For a quick example, Alex Ramosi made $100 million in a day with his ebook. Did that happen because he spent $70 million on ads? Or because he got your trust? Every time you see big things happen, it's either somebody paid through the nose to make it work and then it fails miserably right away, or they've developed an audience that trusts them. They've earned it ahead of time. So here's the deal. You keep trying to do it all yourself, or you hire a ghostwriter that kind of gets your tone, or you keep running cold ads to strangers, or you hire an entire team like Alex, or you can let Pressmaster scale your brand the smart way. It's fast, it's strategic, it's custom, and it actually works. The link's in the description, check it out. And in this next video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to take that attention and scale. And I mean, scale. This is how we build brands to $100,000 months, weeks, and even days. Step by step, no gatekeeping, let's go.